So I have made a model of the plow pose, Balasana. And this is kind of like a cross section um, of the pose of the body. So in this pose, you have, um, in the way it's being done here anyway, you have a little bit of spinal flexion. This yellow is the spinal cord. Well, this is the brain. I made the pituitary gland approximately there. And then the spinal cord, which goes all the way down um, to the coccyx, tailbone, somewhere around there. Um, and so when you stretch the back of the spine in a position like this, where it's rounding forward, um, you have to consider a number of things. First of all, yes, you are stretching the muscles on the back of the spine. There's a bunch of them. There's the long erector spinae group, some other muscles on the back of the neck. And then there's the little deep short muscles, you know, which are um, deeper in the vertebrae that you may also be stretching, some of them at least. Okay, so you're stretching muscle, surely, not to mention the um, gastroc, this red line here, maybe the hamstrings a little bit, but there's so much more happening than just muscle stretching. So you're stretching a little bit the spinal cord, um, which is good, uh, and the membranes and all of that around the spinal cord um, and then we have the organs. What's happening in the organs in this pose? First of all, this is an inversion of the torso. So the torso is upside down. Um, and that means it's really good for your organs. It's going to change a lot. But let me go back to the stretching of the back of the body first. This is supposed to be the kidney right here. That's one kidney. And the yellow thing just some symbolizes the adrenal gland, which is actually on top of the kidney. So the blue, blue and yellow represents kidney and adrenal, which is also towards the back of the body compared to all the rest of the organs. So that's also getting kind of refreshed and opened, you could say flushed with blood or something like that. Um, so this pose is really good for your nervous system, the back of the body, the central nervous system, the kidney and adrenal, which is kind of part of the nervous system with the adrenal gland or is closely related to the pituitary and the adrenal. Um, so it's very calming. That's why it's so um, deeply calming. Um, however, this is a big area where people have problems. And that's because of spinal flexion from here to here. In other words, the thoracic spine is not really a big deal because it's kind of already rounding in that direction. And then uh, flexion of the lumbar spine could be problematic, but probably not in this position unless you really have a weak lumbar spine because it's, there's no weight on top of it this spinal flexion tends to compress the discs, but it's not that big of a deal for the lumbar spine in, in, in this um, position. However, uh, cervical flexion, which is where you would bring your chin to your chest, like you see here, um, can, especially with the whole weight of the body down on top of the neck, can create um, you know some problems in the discs here. And they're small discs too, they're not they're not built to take the weight of the body. So this is a vulnerable place, not to mention the whole biggest part of the spinal cord is in there. So you really don't want to compress um, anything in there. Um, but that can be remedied by number one, having a healthy spine, being hydrated, you know, healthy tissue in general. is not a problem at all. In fact, it's quite good. It's quite nice. And um, also, you see this little green line right here? That's to show that the head is a little bit lower than, um, say, the upper thoracic spine. So that you take, some people put a pillow under here, but you can also uh, just have your shoulder blades under there to lift the thoracic spine up a little bit. Of course, this arm has been removed, 
but imagine that the shoulder blades are pulled together underneath you, that's gonna help. Okay, back to the organs. There's another really important aspect, which is the diaphragm right here. You see, this is the lung, purple is lung. Red represents the heart. It's not really inside the lung, but it kind of is. And then this red um, curved line right here is the diaphragm. See, I can take the lung out. And then the, this um, pink part is your intestines. Let's see if they'll come out. They did. And so these are just, you know, this is the abdominal cavity. That green thing is the liver. And this is the thoracic cavity. And then you have this muscle right here dividing it in half. That's the diaphragm muscle. That's the muscle, primary muscle of inhalation. Maybe I can take the liver out also. Hopefully I won't mess it up. Good. So now you can see like what's left over without the organs. Um, and the cool thing about going upside down in plow pose, it's a really good stretch and release of the diaphragm muscle. Um, and that's because uh, normally when you inhale, the diaphragm uh, moves that way, which in this case is upward, but it moves towards the pelvis. And then when you exhale, the diaphragm has to relax upward, like towards the heart. In this position, when you exhale, the weight of the liver, which is really pretty heavy because it's full of blood, and the intestines, the weight of these abdominal organs are pushing down on the diaphragm, and that helps the diaphragm relax, which means that you can exhale more and you're releasing tension here, right? Not to mention you're stretching the back of the rib cage and everything. So this is a really good pose to put energy in the kidney, adrenal, and release tension in the diaphragm, which is gonna help overall with anything related to stress. So you should do it every day, but just be careful that you don't squish this part of your spine, not into the floor. Also don't squish the spine into the floor. But what you, what you have to be careful of is flexion. Not everybody needs to be careful of that, but some people need to be careful of it. And the way that you know if you have a problem there is um, if sometimes when you move your neck or you bring your chin to your chest or if you do shoulder stand or plow or headstand and it creates some tingling sensation in your hands, in your arms, then, you're, then you gotta back up maybe you need to see if you have some problems in the disc there in your spine. Okay, so be careful with the neck. Otherwise, this is an excellent pose. Everyone should do it every day. Just don't go too far.